about winning the Powerball jackpot and quitting your job? Well, that's the reality for one lucky person in New Jersey. Officials say there is a sole winning ticket worth $222.6 million, all for last night's drawing. It was sold in Camden County. This is, by the way, the second biggest multi-state lottery win of the year in New Jersey. In March, a $1.13 billion Mega Millions ticket was sold in Neptune. I wouldn't quit immediately. No. No, but, I would finish out the run. But you, <laughs> you, could, you could buy Neptune with $1.13 billion. Probably. Yes. Probably. We, you can't buy the weather today. Uh, That's no, for sure. It's pretty yeah. good. Really nice again today. <laughs> Things slowly start to change tomorrow, but even tomorrow, not too bad with high temperatures near 80 degrees right now. We're in the 60s and the 70s at 72 in Central Park. We have a mixture of clouds and sunshine, and the AQI is still good. So the forecast for a high of 75 again. And that's still just a few degrees below the average of 78 in Central Park. Sunset at 828. Across the map, it's 70 in White Plains, Belmar 68, 70 in Islip, and 70 for you, too, in Montauk. But it still feels really nice, and that's because dew points are down into the upper 40s and the lower 50s, so still comfortable. And we'll have a similar feel again tomorrow, thankfully, but that all starts to change Thursday, especially on Friday. By Friday, dew points will climb into the 60s, so we'll have more of a steamy feel outside, but that moisture starts to drop again as we head into this weekend, so feeling pleasant too for Father's Day weekend. On satellite and radar, skies are quiet, just more cloud cover compared to what we had earlier in the morning. Also seeing a few sprinkles across portions of the Catskills. That's a sign of what's on the way. So even though we have high pressure nearby, there's still a disturbance that will swing through and that could be strong enough to squeeze out maybe a spot sprinkle as we head into this afternoon. Moving farther south, the opposite of a spot sprinkle, portions of Florida and for heavy rainfall over the next few days. That's all thanks to an area of low pressure in the eastern Gulf of Mexico. The National Hurricane Center is watching this, but it has a very low chance of development as that moves back offshore, but that will bring a lot of rain to Florida. Some areas could see close to a foot of rain once all is said and done this week. Closer to home this afternoon, just a spot, very brief sprinkle or light shower popping up. Some of that could linger into the early evening hours, but anything that manages to form, that will fizzle out late tonight through early tomorrow. So high pressure getting closer Wednesday, so that's why tomorrow will still be mainly dry. And then Thursday, we see more so wind switching out of the southwest. That's pumping in warmer air. High temperatures Thursday reaching the mid to upper 80s. And then Friday, closer to the 90s. Now, the main difference Friday is that we'll have this cold front swinging in, and that could trigger around the scattered thunderstorms. One or two of those could be strong to severe, all depending on the timing of that front. We'll keep you updated over the next few days. But this weekend, really pleasant and nice high pressure, bringing in quiet conditions, so we'll see more sun and a drop in the moisture, so a better feel. Today, 75, clouds and sunshine, a spot sprinkle this afternoon, tonight, the 60s, and tomorrow up to 80 degrees, so that's when things start to warm up. Notice by Thursday, 86, some spots and Lynn could get closer to the upper 80s, near 90 degrees on Friday. The humidity making it feel even warmer. We'll see scattered storms, but this weekend, really nice for Father's Day weekend. Mostly sunny and temperatures around 80 degrees. Okay, not bad. Thank mm -hmm. you. Thank you, Brittany. Thank you. Next year on Eyewitness News at noon, uh, clearing medical debt and raising credit scores. Details on a new rule that could change the financial outlook for millions of Americans. Stranded at the bottom of a cliff, how a kite surfer drew the attention of emergency workers who rescued him.